What's up guys? Welcome to the finale. We have finally reached the day of the, the two teams still standing. Two very good teams that have fought from the first matchup now all the way to the final matchup. They fought in the woods of Europe, in the deserts of the Middle East, and now they're on this, this map here, Canyon. So it's going to be a really, really great matchup here. And just in time for the finale, we have the Ryan King. What's up, Ryan King? I'm back and I'm battle hardened, boys. Yeah, not really, but what is up, Paulo? I'm extremely excited. This is awesome. I yeah, I, I'm just really finale. glad you you could make it for the the finale. Um, Hell so. yeah! I am so stoked for this. This is going to be a great matchup right here. Yes. So over to my right, we have Peasant Mob, which of course has Swiss Man 15 playing as Sicily, and his teammate Gigadasha playing as the Papal States. So two, I, I like the pair. I like yeah, the pair. Two, two Italian yeah. states. They come sweet. together. <laughs> and uh, over here we have uh, we have VOD or VOD, uh, Milan being commanded by Frederick, and we have nice guy Vlad commanding Portugal. <laughs> Very powerful um, faction in the late period. The only non-Italian. Uh, Yes, here. yeah, that is true. You know, we've seen a lot of Italian factions in this game. Of course, there's like a shit ton of them. Like what? It's like Venice, Papal States, Sicily, Milan. Milan. Yeah. So, um, and they're all great. Um, so Absolutely. let's just go ahead and look at this terrain for this match. Now, I love this map. <laughs> yes, I think this is perfect for the finale because it really is like, it's just like, what do you do, you know? Like, do you rush? Do you stand back? How do you approach this map? Yeah, each player has a really great uh, position, nice hill that they can take. But, yeah, it's really who makes the first move. I mean, yeah. it's also so. to getting to your teammates. If you need to support each other, you have to actually go into the death pit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's true. I mean, so. look at Milan. It looks like he has uh, the strategy of running to his teammate just by looking at his deployment. Exactly, he now, wants to make it up and over to that hill. Yeah, and is Peasant Mom going to, are they going to use that against them? Are they going to rush them, get them in a bad spot? You know, you, you, Definitely I guess a lot we'll of find options. out. Yeah, we will <laughs> yeah. find out very soon. So I guess we'll go ahead and look at the army comp, starting with Swiss Man, Peasant Mob. Um, he's playing in Sicily, like I already said. Um, he's got five units of Pavi's crossbowmen, or, and some crossbow militia, but they have the same stats, but... But yeah, they're pretty much all the same unit. Five units, that is a ton of archers. And I'm not surprised by bringing so many archers, uh, just how this map is set up. This is, yeah, so you know where you can, if you want to, you can stay up on the hill and be pretty comfy. Yeah, yeah, and just use yeah. all that firepower. Uh, looking at his infantry, he's got three units of dismounted Norman Knights. Very cool looking. And he has four units of sword and buckler men. So that is his infantry. Gotta love them. Yeah, Sword Cute and Buckler, man. A hidden gem in Medieval 2. Uh, <laughs> very good. Um, now, this is really bizarre here, but I've, I've seen this more and more as I play this game, but I'm seeing two general bodyguards. Uh, yep, and that's sort of the theme here uh, with a yeah. lot of these uh, factions. We're going to find out really soon with that. So he, how many does Sicily have? Uh, two. One two. late period, one early period. Weird. So I don't weird. know why, honestly. Maybe you're trying to confuse the opponent on which unit has the general, you know? Yeah, the only other alternative I, I could think to that is because um, the <clears throat> the general's bodyguard are an extremely durable unit. Yeah. So maybe they just want that just to have yeah. as a good unit. So I don't yeah, know. I guess we'll see how it plays out here. And then last for his cav, he's got four units of chivalric knights. Nice, good choice. Yeah. That's a yeah. strong build right there for yeah, sure. Yeah, classic Swiss man getting a very elite calf here. So <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so then over next to him we have his ally Gigi Dasha and commanded the Papal States. He's bringing four units of Pavi's crossbowmen. And there's a variety of upgrades here. It looks like on most of them he has armor upgrades except for one. He also has one unit of Pavi's crossbow militia, the nice pinheads over here, and then. Uh, there's infantry, he has one unit of pike militia. Pikes are always nice to have. Yeah, we've seen, seen a lot of pikes in this tournament. Absolutely. And we also have, uh, how many of these? I think we have four. Yeah, four units of the dismounted men at arms, and they are definitely upgraded. That yes, nice shiny armor. yes. 
And we have two units of Broken Lances. Can't go without the Broken Lances, that's for sure. Especially as Papal States. Yeah. And then we have one unit hiding in the background behind the horses. We have a unit of Dismounted Feudal Knights. What can you say about them? They're just too, <laughs> too good. Can't go without them. And then, so let's see. For his cavalry, he has a nice, nice uh, amount of cav. His four units of Knights Hospitaller, and these guys don't play around at all. No, very elite. Um, very few cav are better than, than these Knights Hospitaller. So. Yeah, absolutely. And they just, I love those shields so much. <laughs> I know, the crosses, yeah. <laughs> Black and white. And then the last two, he's doing the same thing as his teammate, which we've talked about before, bringing two units of General's Bodyguard, one late, one early period. So this is interesting. Yeah. The last piece he's bringing that's just, I, I think it's cool to see, is the uh, Great Cross. Yeah, and this is be... actually not the first time that... Oh, really? Yeah, oh, okay. Papal States have brought the uh, Great Cross, so... Uh, they, they go hand in hand. I mean, yeah, it's nice it's to a have big that morale. Boost. Yes. Yeah, that morale boost, absolutely. Yeah. It, could, so. it could be the deciding factor of any battle, just that extra morale. Definitely. So hopefully he can stay around and protect it. Yeah. So guess we'll move on to the other players yes looking at team vod we have vlad here playing as portugal and uh let's see one two three four five units of Pro pavi's crossbowmen so mm -hmm. this is definitely going to be more skirmishy uh just by looking at their builds yeah when most of the tournament has been more of a rush style so this will be yeah. a nice change of yeah. pace if it does turn to that yeah uh, he has one unit of peasants. Uh, I'm not sure why. Maybe to mock peasant mob. I don't know. <laughs> but uh, but it's an interesting choice here. And um, we have two units for infantry, two units of dismounted Portuguese knights. I think that's a very good pickup. I love Portuguese knights. <laughs> yes, they're, they're perfect for killing Cav. And, and knowing it's... Swiss man and his ally, Gigadasha, they are very good with Cav. So I think that's a good pickup. And, and yeah, it's that it's one of those that a lot of guys don't know if you rush them into it, they'll mess your cab up. Yeah, so. yeah. And it's you know when it, in the heat of a battle, like you can't really see what's going on. You look at you look at them at first, and you're like, oh, those are probably just feudal knights, you know? Like, exactly. Not a big deal. And then they start just mowing down your cab, and they're like, oh, Portuguese <laughs> knights, so bummer. Like um, the rest of his infantry, he's got three units of dismounted feudal knights, uh, classic mm. good pickup, and they have armor upgrades. Looking nice um, that plate. Yeah, looking really shiny. And he's got some Conquistadors. One, two, three. Three units of Conquistadors. And he has one General's Bodyguard. Classic one General. <laughs> like that. The only yeah. one who's staying away here. From yeah. Multiple General's Bodyguards. <laughs> and he, had, he has two Mailed Knights. Which, Ooh, yeah, love me, Mailed Knights. Yeah, <laughs> me and you, we're, we're a big fan of Mailed Knights. So. Absolutely. You can't go wrong with that. So over, over uh, here we have Milan, who's obviously trying to make a move towards his ally, which yeah. is pretty pretty good idea. He has a pretty sweet looking army. He has four units of Pike Militia, so cheap and effective. Looks like he has gold upgrades gold, on yeah. too. So that's that's definitely a smart move. Uh, we have one unit of dismounted men at arms. These men are certainly upgraded as well. Um, then we have four units of dismounted feudal knights, and these guys might have an attack attack upgrade, but they certainly don't have an armor upgrade. They're no, they don't. The chainmail. Yeah. So, um, he also for his bows, he, he has four units of Genoese crossbowmen, and do, do you really need any more? I mean, four can get the job done just <laughs> yes. fine. So, elite of the elite in terms of bows. So behind, backing him up to his rear, all, is all of his cavalry. And it seems like the name of the game here is Knights Hospitaller. They have uh, three units of those lovely knights, accompanied by three, which is pretty odd, three units of General's Bodyguard. So we have two yeah. of the old school style ones. We also have one of the new age, shiny space looking dudes. <laughs> and honestly, okay, so two units of General Bodyguard, that's, that's a good idea, I guess, that works. But I feel like getting two of the same uh, you can only get one without getting, you know, higher. It costs more to get the yeah. same of the yeah. of the general's bodyguard. So he loses some money. I, I, we'll see how it works out here. But um, we saw Frederick play Milan a lot in this tournament, and he has done very well with the Genoese and the Pike Militia. <laughs> they are very trustworthy. Yes. <laughs> and we saw every time... VOD was rushed at, they just destroyed it. They're like the perfect... The jaws right on Yes, they were the perfect anti-rush um, players. 
So this is going to be really, really interesting how this plays out. Because it's kind of like Swiss Man's team, uh, t Peasant Mob. They're the, they're the best rushers, you know. They, yeah, they're they the ones really... who are just going in hard and quick right yeah. away. So and these guys are the anti-rushers. So yeah. how is this going to play out? Yeah, I mean, they saw each other play. You know, they've seen the videos. They, they saw how they played other teams, you know. So it's, it's kind of like a mind game here at the start. Yeah. We'll oh. see who adjusted to it and who didn't. So. Right, exactly. All right, so here we go. We have Milan rushing his army. As expected. Looks like he's heading up straight yep. up. And I would say that uh, Swiss Man, or uh, Peasant Mob, their team has a bit of an advantage in terrain. Uh, they have a slight hill over um, VOD, but it's so subtle. Yeah, it is. I, I, I think for the most part, though, it's going to be not that... Um, not that big of a deal just because and if we look where they're moving i don't know this could take place all the way over towards oh this is definitely going to take place yeah they're, like they're, they're gonna... forming up oh, okay hmm yeah yeah there is a slight terrain advantage towards them so hopefully the papal states can see that and secure that hill right there yeah that would be really helpful and we have swiss man following his opponent he's gonna uh now Swiss Man needs to move because Milan's already hot on the trail towards yeah. uh, Vlad over here, and he's going to be able to support his teammate a lot quicker than Swiss Man towards Papal State. So the movements need to be made here. And they're already firing here. Oh, it looks like he's going to change and just start hitting him with those Genoese while he's forming. Oh up. wow, what a what a well good <laughs> a solid move he's, there. Yeah, he saw an opportunity instead of following. <clears throat> Excuse me, instead of following the path he was, he stopped and was like, yeah. I'm going to start taking That's, fire here. You know, because he was ahead of him. He's already up on this hill. Swiss man is not. And that, yeah, was, that was a yeah. really good move there. And those Genoese, this is what they're made for. Yeah. Quick and opportunity shots. And Swiss man, yeah, yeah. But uh, Swiss man, he's trying to form up his archers as well. Mm -hmm. So hopefully uh, Swiss man here can find a little can kind of dig in hopefully get a nice position because when it comes to shooting bow v bow those genoese that's tough competition it is tough, tough but swiss man does have one more pavi's crossbow unit that's um, true so hopefully that can make the difference it's going to be close yeah but that's the hard thing here because everyone can can uh use a pavi's unit so you know it's it's uh it's not easy, but look over here. Look at the Pavi's crossbowmen from Vlad. They're just getting oh. chewed up. Yeah, um, and it, he's trying oh to God. maneuver up this hill. Oh, I see. Yeah, he's trying to yeah take position. Yeah. Right, that's not that's not a bad idea. He saw that he had that terrain disadvantage. So now, securing it's a good move. Yeah, but he needs to be careful of this cab charge because um, he doesn't really have these. Vlad doesn't have these Pavi's protected. Yeah, that's true. He has really nothing within range that could help. I mean, he does yeah. have those mailed knights to the rear in the general's bodyguard, yeah. but if he does do a shock charge, it could be pretty deadly for those pavies on yeah. the hill. Yeah. But it doesn't look like he's going for it. It looks like he's going to stay back, and it looks like his calves actually getting harassed right now. If you look at uh, Gigadasha. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. His, yeah. uh, his uh, knight's hospitality yeah. have been getting shot at by those crosses. So maybe that's the good idea, a smart idea by not charging in. Yeah, you know if he's going to start moving towards them, they'd start dropping. I don't know how effective it would be if he did go in after him. At that point, he'd, he'd be looking at charging in the rest of his cav. Yeah. And just because Portugal is pretty close. And I don't know this decision by Frederick. I don't know if this is the best idea. Look, If you look, he's moving his army again. And Swissman now has uh, his army set up firing at him. If you look at the trail of dead bodies yeah, I here. I see that. Yeah, and I'm not really sure where he's maneuvering towards because he's in a pretty good spot, but look at all those dead Genoese. Oh, a yeah. lot of those feudal knights got taken yeah, out. Yeah, that's, that's going to be big because we saw VOD's play style. They're, they're more of a pike with limited infantry. They have more upgraded limited infantry instead of, like, you know, quality over quantity. Exactly. So losing that infantry could be huge. Yeah, it definitely could be, especially if you already have a minimal amount. So... We're looking here at a uh, Swiss man. He has his, as you said, all set up, and they're already firing in position. Frederick is really trying to come back and 
dig in to return fire, yeah. but I don't know. I mean, they're losing a lot of guys yeah. on this side. It, it looked like they had a bit of an advantage at first, but I'm I'm looking at Swiss Man and Gigadash's position as being a bit more in their favor, honestly. Yeah, they, right they're now. getting slaughtered. Look at all the dead of uh, Vlad's army. Yeah, it's it, his <laughs> his bows are. I mean, look at that. It's uh, it's a whole unit on the yeah. floor, just face down. I mean, they're using that terrain very well, so... Definitely some smart play, but as we know, anything can change in a skirmish yeah. scenario, so... You might see uh, Team VOD be a little bit more aggressive here, and they kind of got their armies combined together, if you look over here, so... Yeah, um, they have all their infantry, they have their horses and everything real close. Uh, though, if Frederick has the rest of his off to the side his pikes not really any type oh, of yeah. uh, fighting formation quite yet which is okay just because they are so far yeah since they're so far away i mean that's a good indication that they're probably not going to attack anytime soon um, because his infantry is not close enough to support but now he's starting to move his pikes his pike militia i don't know i guess he's responding to the cab movement because if you look across the field we have swiss man and uh, Gigi Dasha moving their cav all the way towards yes. the flank. And that is Looks a like lot of cav. cav. Yeah, a yeah, whole bunch. We have, and then we have the rest of the Knights Hospitality position, so everything is being heavy loaded on Swiss Man and Gigi Dasha's right. So it looks like that's where the play is going to take as far as yeah, cav for sure. to come from. And look how far back they're keeping the cav. It's because they're getting harassed by those, uh, those pavis. They, they, they have some distance. I mean, yeah. look at the dead bodies. I mean, that's a that's a pretty extreme amount yeah. of range. Yeah. But look at this. We have some movement from the general's bodyguard. They're actually going to go after the Pavi's cross. There we go. And, yes. And uh, Vlad is answering that charge with the general's bodyguard. And that's what deterred him. He's moving back now. He's like, nope, I'm not going <laughs> to get hung up there. Yeah. No, that's not, you know, that's not a bad thing. It's a good thing he's putting pressure on the Pavi's up on this hill and testing his response. To it. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And I think it was a good idea to put these crossbows up on this hill. Even though they're losing the skirmish right now, they got a lot of good kills on those calves. Absolutely. And weakening the calf here, as we all know, whoever wins the calf battle dictates the outcome. Yes. That's how it goes. So hopefully he could put, or I guess, you know, if that's what he's hoping to do, put enough of a dent into Igidasha's calf where he can actually make a move with the rest of his, as well as Milan's. Yeah, I mean, we'll see how this plays out, but we do have VODs, both their armies marching more to the left. Yep. I guess everybody want this is where they want to meet. We yeah. actually have a meat shield, it looks like, from Gigi Dasha. He sent up a unit of Pike Militia, which is pretty, pretty interesting. They're <laughs> kind of just hanging out here, 33 <laughs> men. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I guess it's... I have no idea, maybe to prevent cav chargers, but I guess you could easily just go around it, but... Um, yeah, it's hard, it's hard, it's hard to say. We have some, yeah. a couple of units of General's Bodyguard off to the right uh, from uh, Team Bod. Not really sure where they're going, but it looks like they're actually going to go down into the canyon. Oh yeah, look at and they're that. Getting, they're taking fire as well, ooh. We actually saw t Team VOD play a map kind of similar to this against uh, Team in the Harbor, and they ran uphill with Cav and got really good Cav chargers. Wow. So, yeah, so maybe they're just... Oh, look at this. Uh, uh, the rest of them, oh. the male knights are activated. This yep. is, it's about to go down right here. Yeah, and he's charging into the Knights Hospitality. The people say, oh, he's retreating. Oh, he's pulling back. He's playing some mental games here. Yeah. And they got the pikes. With them. They're all set down. That's pretty funny. You know, is this a diversion? Are they trying to set up a trap? Um, right Hopefully now, go ahead. They can stay away from those pikes. They're awfully close. I wouldn't really want to get hung up with pikes. Oh, that here close. we go. And they've clashed. Mailed Knights. Begun. Not a good charge, though, and he's got it surrounded. Conquist uh, Conquistador's got a decent charge off on uh, Knights Hospitaller, though, however. Oh, yes, right here, yeah. And he's going to retreat them out. Male knights it almost seem like a sacrifice unit. And here comes some more male knights coming in. Oh my god, it's all over the place. Yes. The general's bodyguard on the side being attacked. You've got a flank from the chivalric knights about to hit the rear. This is all. This oh, is just exploding. Oh my god, right the micro is so intense right now. 
The infantry has been activated. Pikes are moving up on the line. Start dueling with the cab, which is yes. a smart move here by Frederick. So, how are you going to deal with these pikes? Look at the rage on these Portuguese knights. They've been activated and they're attacking anyone they can. <laughs> uh, very good unit, and Swiss man saw them and is going to retreat out of there. Ooh, look how quickly that unit broke a chivalric knights when wow. those Portuguese knights touched them. Wow. That's the level. Okay. Oh, here Do comes. Not play. <laughs> it's just so much to go going on right now. It's hard to tell, but uh, those two generals' bodyguards have routed. Wow. And now we have uh, sword and buckler men. Most of Sicily's infantry charging into uh, Portugal here. Well, this is really taking off. All the infantry is about to clash right in. Ooh. Yeah, sword and yeah, sword and buckler men throwing down with Portuguese knights. We have a rear line of pike militia just waiting for contact. Yes. And over towards the archers, it seems like there's been an attack by the Knights Hospitaller trying to score some kills. Oh yeah, look at that. They're just trying to silence them for late game. And we have a huge, huge calf class over here on the other side. Oh my. Oh my. Look at that rear charge from the Conquistadors. Oh wow. This is pretty big. We have Norman Knights throwing into the mix as well. I've got another Conquistador rear charge. Oh, That's wow. pretty big right there. Yeah. Some General's Bodyguard hanging out, waiting for that opportunity to get in there. And look at this, it's just back and forth, all the units. I can't even tell who's who right now, it's pretty <laughs> intense. I know, and the infantry are still going at it. This is a major grind here. The Pike Militia are now in the in the mix. They are in the mix, absolutely. And they're, they're really causing some damage, and they're pushing back the lines from the Normans yeah. and the Sword and Buckler men. So what do you do, Ryan? I mean, what? how do you get through these pikes? You know? <laughs> like, do you run past them? Um, no, you stand there and just keep ordering them to attack. <laughs> pikes are so tricky. <clears throat> um, both hey, using them are. and attacking them. Absolutely. I mean, when it comes down to it, you really just have to keep a couple cab around if you can. Seeing an opportunity to squeeze through and hit that rear. Yeah. We, it seems like we have some... Uh, Portuguese coming in. Looks like they might be going for a hammer and anvil, but they're yeah. They went against uh, the Sicilians from the rear. Yeah. Not, not a bad charge right there. The peasants have been activated. They're there for morale, I guess. I have no idea. <laughs> the Great Cross is near the infantry, and it looks like he's committing the Great Cross uh, spearmen here. Nice. And the cool thing about um, the Great Cross spearmen is that they will never break. They will never break. They're there as guardians of the Great Cross. Yeah. And it, look at the look at the cab. They're all over the place in the back here. Yes, and it looks like it's out of control for a team peasant mob. But it looks like this is more in control of team VOD. With Absolutely. The cab. All of their uh, uh, crossbows are unprotected right now. Yeah. And look at the breaks that are going on back here. It's, it's just going to keep happening. It's not good. Not good at all. They have the presence right now. Team VOD. Uh, Peasant mob just really doesn't have the cab anymore. No, they lost that cab engagement, which is really surprising. Um, it looked like they started off very well with their cab, you know, killing that uh, mailed knight unit at the very start, but it, it, uh, VOD quickly turned it around. Very quickly, and it seems like there's just a fight to the bitter end here with Sicily and the Papal States fighting around the Great yes. Cross. Got rear charges from Knights Hospitaller from Milan. And look at, we even have uh, Portugal uh, feudal knights flanking around this main infantry fight. And there goes the routing of Sicily. Oh, 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 oh that hurts. Look at all those sword and buckler men. That's, That's too bad. That is way, that is just tragic. And, they just uh, don't have the presence here anymore. It's still even though, if you look at yeah, the balance of power. It is, it's very, very close. And here comes good charges by the uh, Papal States General. The nice. Ooh, yeah. that's very nice. That's what they needed right there. They really need to get rid of these annoying pikes because they're causing just a lot of trouble. Yeah. yeah. And we've got uh, Vlad countercharging that that cab unit. Ooh, we did that did cause a break for Portugal and Milan. Wow. We have a wow. unit of feudal knights leaving, and they're rallying around the cross. So this is this is just a big uh, mosh pit right now. Just <laughs> yeah. No fronts. Just everyone's <laughs> fighting everyone. Absolutely. It's just, it's coming down to nothing. We have tiny units of cab running amok. 
nailing <laughs> units who just routed. We just had a unit of Sword and Buckler men who came back who just got flat. Yes. I think we have some feudal knights that are coming back too from Milan, Frederick's army. Mm. That is not what uh, Team Peasant Mob need right now, though. No. We still have some decent units from Papal States with some uh, solid numbers left in terms of uh, infantry is concerned. It's just how many of these rear charges can they take from these generals' bodyguard? Yeah, I mean, that's what it's going to come down to. It's just Cav charging in the backs of the enemy. Ooh, nice backup right there with his Papal States generals', generals bodyguard, bodyguard coming in yeah. to save the day from the rear. Really needs to keep them alive and in the fight. Fortunately, no one has lost their general yet. I think that's what a lot of the fighting zeal. Oh, just as I say as that, as soon as you say that, is that the Sicilian general? It is by uh, Pavi's crossbowmen. Oh God, that is horrible. tragic. Yes, that's really, really bad for peasant mob. I don't know about this. If you look. The bar is starting yeah, to just No dissipate. longer even, yeah. It's, it's, this is in favor of Vlad, or VOD. What a fight. Very impressive fight, however. I really like the pace there. Yeah, you know, it started off as, like, being really slow, mind games, charging, like, bluff charges, and all of a sudden, boom, like, it just... Everybody was fighting everybody. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I don't think there was a unit standing around that when it took off. It was pretty... Pretty explosive yeah, fight. Yeah, very, very good micro from both both armies. I just think uh, Team VOD just managed their cab a little bit better. So definitely. And, and won this one. They were able to quickly get around their lines. I don't I don't think um, Swiss man, I don't think he got in the position he wanted to uh, as, as he saw Milan and uh, Portugal. They were able to get in their positions a lot more quickly yeah you know part. that's a good point because we saw vod and from the beginning of this fight even when milan was moving his army they were in control they were they were calling yep. the shots yeah, yeah they were calling where the fight was going to take place yeah. when it was going to take place and that's and they decided who was going to win yeah so uh really so, close though yeah the kill it's this tournament every match has been really really close um, That's exactly what we want to see. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Very exciting. Swiss man uh, only getting 642. Um, so, like you said, Swiss man, he was not in the position he wanted to be in. Exactly. Yeah. He was uh, kind of cornered away. As as you saw with their positioning, they moved away from that uh, a team VOD. They moved away from that uh, ditch. So it was just pretty much flat when they attacked. Whereas... Uh, Swiss man was over towards where he had that ridge still, so he had to come around his uh, his teammate to help him. So I think that's yeah. what really cost them that. Yeah, and we have Giga Dasha getting 810 kills, a very good amount of kills there. Um, I think a lot of those kills from came from the Pavi's crossbows, just scoring a <laughs> ton of kills. Yeah. <laughs> um, and of course we have Vlad getting 960 kills. That, that's a whole lot of death. I mean, that, considering he also had an 896, which is the smallest amount fielded. So. Yeah, yeah, that's very <laughs> impressive. Uh, I think that that point in the battle when he used his Portuguese knights to route that Shivrick knight mm -hmm. or mounted cav, like that was huge. That was that was definitely big. Yeah. And we have Fre Frederick here, uh, getting under, getting 640. Of course, he was uh, he went in second in the main infantry fight there. So, but he did get 150 captive or prisoners there. So, um, not too bad. Not too bad. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed the first round. Uh, this is really exciting. I can't wait for uh, game two here. It's gonna it's gonna heat up. I can already tell. Yeah, <laughs> and it's very important that uh, Team Peasant Mob wins the next match, or the, it's over. Uh, yeah, they've got to. Uh, yeah. We're pull, we're rooting for you guys. Come on. <laughs> yeah, we want an exciting game. We wanted to go to three games, so uh, we'll Has see what happens. Yeah. See you guys on the next battle.